I am guilty as charged. Lock me up. Lock me up. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you are new, welcome to the channel. Yes, I know. Chinazo, where have you been? Like, are you for real right now? Look, I'm sorry. Before you started to flame and get to roasting, I'm sorry. But then again, I'm not. Because I was trying to get my shit together, y'all. So we can really have some good content on here. I wasn't trying to do no regular degular shit, like same shit every time, no. So if you have not read the title, yes, honey, do you ever feel like you've just been too hard on yourself? Like you just going so hard for what? You want other people to be nice to you, but you ain't even nice to you. We're not doing that no more. So in today's video, I want to give you 10 signs that you're probably not as nice to yourself as you should be. But before we get into the video, let's talk about the hair. I'm gonna put y'all on for a second. And the hair is by Hair So Fly, inexpensive, great quality, and it's just been doing me right. Um, it's just been giving what it's supposed to give. Uh, it's giving what it's supposed to give. Uh, also, again, before getting right into the video, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. I do not have a consistent post schedule, but we have a good time here. And I think that's really all that matters. Disclaimer before we begin the video, I'm literally talking to myself. This is for me too. We are learning together. I want y'all to see the progress with me. I want to see the progress with y'all. Like, let's just, come on, come on. We're too, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. we want to level up in all ways. Are you dumb? No, you're not. And that's the problem. <laughs> 10 signs you're too hard on yourself. Let's get into it. Sign number one, you take general comments mad personal, like, they were not talking about you. Just understand that we're not talking about you. Uh, so it can that ass be talking about like, oh, girls be doing this. They were not talking about you. And even if they were, like, that's something they need to solve. Not you. Not you, baby girl. If they have an issue with someone like that, what did that what that got to do with you? You try to like kind of fit yourself into this in the description of what they're talking about even if it has nothing to do with you number two doing things like going out and getting dressed and looking cute becomes sort of like a struggle like you get anxiety preparing to go out or to get dressed or to get cute moments that's supposed to be fun and exciting and you're supposed to get cute you're now struggling od because like you don't know if you're gonna look cute you don't know what to wear da -da 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 -da, this that and the third Get cute, go out, and be a bad bitch. That's it, keep it simple. Baby girl, you can just go out and have fun. Not everything is a competition. Nobody is competing with you. You are you and they are them. Does that make sense? You are you and they are them. So stop competing. You're in a different lane, they're in a different lane. There's no competition. Sign number three, you find yourself judging other people a lot. People who judge other people are often judgmental of themselves because they think, like I said before, everything is a competition. Not everything is a competition. The person that you're judging is not looking for your exception. Don't criticize yourself so much because other people probably don't even care about the things that you're criticizing yourself about. That's the thing, that's the funny thing about it all is that other people literally do not care. Who can really blame you because it's ourselves, we want the best for ourselves, but sometimes when we want the best for ourselves, we can turn that into self-hate. Sign number four, you overanalyze the way people think about you. Everyone has their own life. I promise you, people are not thinking about you the way that you think they're thinking about you. The same way you're thinking about yourself, everyone else is thinking about themselves too. Don't be thinking that everyone's thinking about you the same way that you're thinking about you. Because you may think, oh, I look so gross right now. And someone else across the room is thinking, yo, she's a mad pretty or he's mad good looking. Number five, you put other people on a pedestal. You think that other people's lives is your goals. Set your own goals, girl. Just because she doing it doesn't mean you need to be doing it. 
or just because he's doing that does not mean you need to be doing that set your own goals have your own aspirations no your goals and his goals are not the same and they shouldn't be and that's all right you can see something that they have and be like oh that's cool like one day i'm gonna have that but do not ever think that somebody's life is a life that you need to have you have your own purpose you have your own journey that you need to go on that you need to find and you're mistaking it for somebody else's journey and for someone else's path do not do that i do that a lot sign number six you let other people's opinion opinions like hello you let other people's opinions determine your decisions i am guilty as charged lock me up lock me up you're going out you need an outfit to wear i did this the other day should i wear this or should i wear that you hit someone up you hit up a close friend whether it be your mom your dad your friend your boyfriend your girlfriend should i wear this or should i wear this and you let them decide whoa if you wanted to do that, do it. I mean, obviously, it's good to get a second opinion, but if you do this constantly, and if you literally cannot make a decision without someone else telling you, sometimes you don't even need the second opinion, just wear it. And even if you do get a second opinion, still wear it. If they say don't wear it, wear it. If they say wear it, wear something else, just because. Just because you are able to make your own decisions just so you understand that. Number seven, this is kind of self-explanatory, negative self-talk. Like, if you find yourself like cracking jokes about yourself that are just not productive, that are not positive, maybe girl, that's a sign. That's a sign. If you find that most of your self-talk is negative and critical and judgmental, that's a sign, baby girl. That's just a habit. It's just a habit that you just need to unlearn as soon as you possibly can. That's other people's jobs. Even though you shouldn't have people like that in your life, but that is the job of the outside world, not your own self. What? The world is too critical for you to be criticizing yourself. Sign number eight, you're really bad at receiving compliments. You just can't receive compliments. Like, you don't know what to say after someone's like, someone's like, oh, I really like your hair. You're like, thank you but you don't actually believe it and you're kind of wondering what are their motives what is your intention what are you lying to me why are you lying if you have that kind of reaction you need to reevaluate because most likely when someone takes their time out of their day to compliment you they're being genuine usually people don't go out of their way to give a compliment that they don't mean so you better take that compliment because they mean it you better take it number nine this is kind of hard to explain but not at the same time so just bear with me for a second you believe something bad about yourself before you believe something good so i just find it so ironic how someone can say something bad about you and you can start over analyzing like oh my god yeah i do this all the time back to what i said about bad at receiving compliments when someone compliments you you kind of find it hard to believe really really someone said something bad and now you're overthinking it and now you never stopped thinking about it and it happened three weeks ago and someone just complimented you and you're trying to figure out if they're lying to you or not sign number 10 you compare yourself a lot in this day and age it is so hard not to compare yourself but that is something as a society we need to unlearn. And nowadays people are really like becoming woke and really understanding that the internet, Instagram, all this stuff was made for you to start comparing yourself and wanting what, what other people have. So yeah, that was it. Quick video, quick talk, quick chat. Let me know if you do any of these things because baby girl, I do some of these things. We all do some of these things in some real way, shape or form. And the goal is to cut it all out. None of it, zero, we want none. Not a little bit, we want none. And that's not perfect. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, subscribe, share with your friends, like I said before. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace and love.